Ugh. Poor Tim. Just a few things. Hey, we're going to have a short little adventure today. Um, right here in these bushes, there was an old house. And I've actually been digging here before. And I actually found some nice Civil War stuff in there. Um, but we're going to go in there today and just kind of goof off for about an hour. And then I have to go to another place to meet a guy. And depending on how well we do here, I'll post a video. Or maybe just combine them two, I'm not sure. Neat little tractor, huh? I want to show you something. I don't know if you remember this old well, uh, but we were in it actually a couple years ago. There's a ladder here, and I went down inside. And when I did, it was um, it was full of snakes. There were like snake heads looking out you know, from the walls and stuff, all these rocks. Um, it was really scary, and the, the, it doesn't go straight down. It's kind of like a room down there, and the cross beams on the top were like all rotted and ready to fall on me. So it was really scary scary and uh, i just want to look at it again today now the ladder is not here so we can't go in it and also i looked in there and it's full of water so i'm not even going to try to go in there and when i say full i mean there's water in there i don't know how deep it is but i want to just show it to you real quick because i think it's quite fascinating and that's the well see it's like a room it's kind of weird and i don't know if you see right there but there's a uh, those are like uh, big old beams going across holding up all these rocks and I dug it down into the solid rock. But all these rocks going down, especially down in there, these are all full of snakes. Snakes are coming out looking at me as I was going down in there. It's really scary, but we're not going down there today. All right, what do you think? Maybe another day? <laughs> so let's jump back in the bushes here where the old house was and uh, see what we can find. So this is where the foundation was. And um, I guess somebody's been digging in here since I was last time. A couple screens, this little screen there. It's probably the landowner. He's actually not here today. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but I dug some over there. It looks like maybe someone dug that out. I didn't do all that, so hopefully they found a few things. But I do actually have a signal already. I just turned the machine on, and I got a signal, so I thought we'd try to get a video. It should be right in here. Uh, let's get the pinpointer, what do you say, so you can hear it. It could be oil, too. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good find right there, man. Look at that. That is a pewter, a part of a pewter spoon. That's an old pewter spoon. So that could easily date to the 1700s or the 1800s. That was like pretty much on, on the top. It was just buried a little bit. So, wow, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and put this away. And, uh... I'll turn my headphones off for a minute so you can hear what we're listening for in here. I'm sure what I'm doing. I got the uh, metal detector set on. It's using Gear 8T Mac, zero program, zero discrimination, maximum sensitivity. This is what we're listening for. That's where the spoon was, but this is all iron. It's all little pieces of iron. We're listening for a, a noise like that. Now that could be something good. Now, I think there was a lot of foil in here, too, if I remember, so we'll have to watch out for that. I think it might be something right there. Let's go ahead and dig that together. What do you say? Not a solid signal like the other thing, but I don't know if you noticed when I took the dirt off, it got a little bit better. It's really small, and it could just be a piece of tin or something. That's all iron. I'm pretty sure this is what I was hearing. It's like a little uh, foil pack, like a cigarette pack or something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is the spoil pile from when they were sifting. Look at this. That, you know what that is? If you've been watching my videos, you'll know. That probably goes with this jaw right here. Big old jaw. This is a pig tusk. This would have been sticking out the end of his uh, nose. Not his nose, but you know what I mean. That's called a pig tusk. It looks like a claw. A lot of people, they find these things are like bear claws, but they're actually just a pig tusk. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I think I'll keep that. I always like to keep these little things for some reason. And uh, we'll, we'll move that thing off to the side and check the spoil pile. See if you missed anything. Oh, geez, look at that. <laughs> look. I see a little brass doohickey that's going to be cool. And a button. Look at that little button right there, too. <laughs> oh, poor Tim. <laughs> he missed a few things. That's kind of, that's, that's an old piece right there, too. That's old for sure. What else? I think we should just look around. I, I, I shouldn't dig with my fingers, but you see this glass in here. That's, that's pretty awesome right there. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. 
Yeah, Tim's actually uh, on vacation right now, so uh, he's not here today, but he knows I'm here. So I kind of dug that out a little bit, and I saw the glass in there. I melt the glass. That probably means the house burned. Um, but I'm not um, hearing a good squeaker, just a lot of... A lot of pieces of iron. I mean, there could be something right there, but let's concentrate on the better stuff. This also this came out of the hole, which nice old spike, iron spike, and that's what we're hearing really. Just lots of those, I think, and smaller ones. But let's get a good signal and see what we can find. Here's some uh, little pieces of metal there. Cool piece of pottery. Not sure what that is. Some type of serving tray, I guess. And I found a hinge. It's a big hinge that was probably in the house on something. Uh, broken but yeah we'll go ahead and um we'll go ahead and close this back up and maybe we'll come back and sift one other day or something i don't know might be worth it she's a little like a groundhog hole here or something and this might be where i found my belt buckle last year um lots of uh bits and pieces of beautiful pottery is that a base in here i saw another one over here i wanted to show you before we go to a signal do you see it isn't that crazy I actually was standing here. Oh, well, let's go find it. I thought it was kind of interesting. I wanted to pick it up anyway. Um, do you see it? I don't see it. There it is. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty nice little uh, cup or something. Another piece here. That's probably a broken cup. Anyway, I have a um, nice signal right over in here. It's, it's small. Let me put it right there. I might save that. It's small, so I'm hoping it's good. Right over in here somewhere. Right right there, something small. So that could be a little button. I'm just gonna dig with my fingers because I don't think it's very deep. It's really soft. So hopefully that got it. Yep. Uh and there's something a little tiny thing right in here. Nope. Nope. Yep, it's in my hand. Mm, let's dump that out. Alright, so what we have, this is it. And it's uh, gonna be like a piece of melted pewter. I don't think it's lead because it's too crumbly. So that could have been like another old pewter spoon that was in this house when it burned. I'm just assuming it burned. I mean, just the uh, signs are that it is. But all right, I think I'll, I'll keep some of this. What do you say? Right, so we had about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna go meet a guy to do a uh, short dig uh, to look for some Civil War bullets. Uh, so let's see if we can find something else before we go. Two good targets. What do you say? I'm, I'm still kneeling right where I found that piece of melted pewter, and there's another signal right there that might be good. Just do it with one hand real quick. Of course not. All right, turn that back. See some pottery in there. All right, see if we moved it. If not, we'll uh, touch it down. No, nice little signal though. It's right in the middle. Let me set you up because before I even start digging, I want to check that because it could be that. No, nope, it's not that. All right, let me just give a wiki whack to that ground right there. Should be right in here, so I'm just going to loosen it up from that direction. Sink in this direction. And we should be about on it. Right in here. Huh, there it is. I think I can see it right here. Just the edge of something. What is it? Oh. <laughs> know what that is I don't um, and when I first saw it I thought it might be like a scabbard tip to a knife or something because it has that tapered look like a blade would go down in it and it really really looks like that except on this end it has a little tiny handle that swivels so I had no idea what that would be I mean it really does look like a scabbard tip though but I don't know what that would be on the end. That's so weird. Never seen a scabbard tip like that. That's a nice little find. Now, if we can just do one more good find, I gotta be a little careful that I don't want the thing to break off. Um, I'll be happy for uh, this afternoon's hunt, this one hour hunt. <laughs> it's been awesome so far. Ah, weird old uh, big old ring. Kind of flat though, so it's almost like a giant washer of some kind or spacer. Worked around the house a little bit. What I'm gonna do is kind of go out on the outskirts out in there a little bit because I've never really detected that a whole lot because it's really grown up. But now since it snowed this winter, everything's kind of mushed down. We might have a little more luck. Um, just afraid there's gonna be a lot of junk out there, but 
that's pretty chunky too so what do we have to lose right so that's the area right down there and there where i was finding the stuff you can see why i scratched around a little bit this is kind of interesting i just wanted to share it with you you can see you can actually see part of the stone wall the foundation of the house going out that way and it cuts back this way too um i guess all this dirt must have been pushed up at some point after the house was uh, burned i think the house has been gone for a long long time you can see kind of see remnants going out that way too they actually have another house that's has stone chimneys <laughs> that they live in uh, close by i don't want to show it to you though because i don't want anybody to recognize it um but uh this i think this is probably the first house that was on the property before i tell you that other house has some massive stone chimneys too but maybe they just took the stone chimneys from here took them apart and moved them over there who knows all right let's get back at it a few more minutes we'll scrounge around in here i don't think i could ever get up in here before um but it looks like we can now so another groundhog cool let's go check that one out so i tell you this area right over here does look really good that's that groundhog cool we're just looking at and uh another hole there and if you look you actually see pieces of that ceramic of some sort tons of signals in here though so i'm thinking this might be a really good place to dig out we have not been in here yet i've got a nice signal right about in there let me move some, some bricks over there let me move this out of here and we'll get that signal and this might be something we'll come back to another day maybe cut all this out of here and pull peel some of this dirt back and see what we can find uh, but let me let me clear that out for it uh, so just give me just give me a couple minutes okay so i wasn't really able to clear a lot of these a uh, lot of this brush right here but at least i can get up in here now and i want to dig this one signal and um i think we'll come back on this one and dig this whole pile up one day um right in here that's where it is right there so <gasps> it's a spoon i just saw it go flying um i just saw a spoon put that up here a minute here's some i don't know if that's brick or pottery that's probably some type of pot of some sort i saw a spoon behind up in here is that it that's a nail ah there it is look okay looky there that's another old spoon right there that's a that's a nice old one that's not a that's a pewter old pewter spoon beautiful it's broken right there but they usually are oh man that's sweet that was right on the surface too um let me let's take a quick listen here see what it sounds like that looks modern over there but let's cut these bushes out of here one of these days all right let's listen that's what that's See, there's plenty of iron in here. See, I've never been up in this area. I couldn't get up in there before. I'm hearing iron. I'm not hearing any other squeakers, but it doesn't mean they're not there. Oh, listen. There's lots of iron in here. This is beautiful. So I just came back here where we first started, looked around a little bit, and I got a nice big iron signal here. I started digging it up, and I can see it, but what interests me is like a hole here. So I'm wondering what that's all about. Like there's a cave or a cistern or something. Of course, I was trying to figure out what this thing is. Probably just a piece of tin, but I wonder what this is. And we should still be in the foundation of the house. Might just be where this thing rotted, I guess. Let me set you up and we'll pry that out of there and see what's in there. Maybe it's an old chest full of Confederate gold coins. Or a piece of tin. That's probably about what it was. Yeah. got. Be real careful. My finger's on that. It's probably just... Or something rotted underneath yeah i think that's all it is i'm not going to really dig on that too much all right <laughs> one more target of course what would a hunt be without a rifle or pistol casing a joy <laughs> oh well all right so we're headed out i'm gonna go meet a guy um one of my fans for another dig this evening for two hours just up the road actually just a couple miles so if we find a few things we'll go ahead and um i'll just tack it on to the end of this video if you find nothing you probably won't see anything and if we find a lot i'll make a part two okay i don't want to make a 40 minute video because who has time to watch a 40 minute video right <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit if we make it She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand.